Oi, get out. <laughs> Have we started? We are just about to start. You gonna watch? Yeah. All right. You can give me the answers to the questions. Are they questions or are we just chatting? We're just chatting. chatting. Pretty much just chatting. Cool, I can do that. And welcome to the Milo Beasley Show, do 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 episode number 182. Oh my god. Uh, hanging out here, Jessica Troy, Hi. how you doing? I'm tired, but I'm pretty good. Yeah. Like, I think it's it's my jet lag time. Is it, yeah? Yeah, so Because yeah, you're from the Australia. I am. The Australia. The yes, the Australia. Yeah, it's the Australia. Like, people say this is the United States, so. Oh, that's true. Guys, so it's the Australia. The Australia. I like that. I'm going to start that. I'm going to take it home with me. So, uh, you're hanging out here in Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hanging out at Slamming Ladies. How many times have you been here to Florida? I've been to Florida twice now. Twice now? Twice so this now. is your second time? Yes, or my second visit. What did you do the first time? Um, first time I came here with Mick Moretti, my boyfriend, and we uh, traveled around. We got on a few shows. We also went to Universal and Disney World. Is that the one that's yes, there? Disney right? Disney World, World. Yes, Disney World. Yeah, so that was the highlight. Universal's great, and I want to go back every day of my life. Do you like Universal or Disney better? Universal. You like it has Universal. Harry Potter World. Okay, did you get the chance to go to both Harry Potter worlds when you were here? Yeah, or like the two parts? The two parts. Yeah, yeah, I went to both, of course. Okay, that was which, that which wasn't one, the question. Which one <laughs> which one did you like better? Um I liked Diagon Alley better for the look, but I liked the ride in Hogsmeade better. I yeah. like the Hogwarts ride, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it yeah. is really the but Forbidden like Journey yeah. is amazing. I know, really. But they don't have a dragon that breathes fire, so They do. Well, I mean, they... Oh, in Diagon they, Alley. Yeah, in Diagon so Alley. Was, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, so I'm I saying, will like, pick Hog, the ride. Hog, Hogsmeade doesn't have a dragon. Yeah. Right, so uh, who's your favorite Harry Potter character? Um, I always like Remus Lupin. He was always my favorite. Nobody ever says that. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was my favorite. Charlie was, chose Luna as her favorite. She's pretty cool, too. She's Yeah, yeah. she's cute. But I like Lupin the best. Yeah, that's my favorite girl character would be Tonks, I think. Tonks is yeah. a great character that she people is. don't think Especially about. Especially in the either. book, she's a lot better, I think. Like yeah. I love the actress, but I think the books is just better. I've never read the books. Did you read oh. did you read the books first or read the books after? Um, I read the books last, except for this last one. I read that one before the movie came out. I was a bit slow on the books. I came okay. I like became a fan a bit later. There's than everyone a, else. There's a naked man in the background of like right over your head. That way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that just scratch his back. Ah, that's illegal. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that happens so much. So, uh, how, how two part question, I guess. How long ago did you start uh, spandex fighting and mm. why? Like, oh, that's like, a good one. I um, started in 2014 in January. That's when I started training. 2014, okay. Yeah, I was put on shows like five months after that. And then. What was the second part? Oh, like yeah, why? why? Yeah, why? Like, uh, I don't know. I just fell in love with it as soon as I saw it on TV. I watched WWE first. I had two older brothers, right? And they would watch it. And I would be like, I don't want to watch that. It's for boys. I want to watch right. the Powerpuff Girls instead. But then one day I actually sat down and I watched it and I just fell in love. And then I saw Shawn Michaels wrestle. And I was like, I want to be that guy. So yeah. Shawn Michaels is the, the guy that like yeah, turned you on. Yeah, so he was my The favorite. showstopper. Yeah. So do you do you do anything like Sean? Do you do any, any emulate him? My in any goal way? when I was little, right? When I wanted to become a wrestler, my goal was to do a nipper. Okay. Which I can do now, but I did it like a few times in the ring, and they just weren't that great. But the training, they're pretty good. But in the ring, they're not that great. So right, like yeah. when you're training, you're like, okay, you're good. But then when you're tired and you're yeah, I'm tired and I have the pressure of everyone watching me, I'm like, <laughs> oh no, this is use my hands a lot. And look, I'm up, everyone. Would you totally freak out if you got to go? Because he works out at the performance center now. Yeah. He's a trainer. Would yeah. you totally freak out? Yeah, I would. That would be like my number one most like starstruck moment, I think. But you can't be starstruck at that. Oh moment. yes, I can. Well, not oh, at that. I can't. Uh, that's well, the I thing. That, you're gonna be like, you gotta hold it inside and I'd then go after. Up, shake his hand and then run away. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. So, what else do you do besides uh, spandex underwear fight? 
Uh, back home in Australia, I work as a retail assistant just in a toy shop. So toy shop? Yeah. Do, you do you get to play with toys all day? I do. It's just a really small toy shop as well, so I can just play with stuff. I ride the scooters up and down like the. What? That yeah. sounds like the coolest thing ever. It is pretty fun, but there's kids there. Like kids are okay, but oh, sometimes get, get the kids out of there and play yeah. with the toys. By Close yourself. the door, and it's just for me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I do, and that's about it at the moment. I pretty much just. Do oh, that. so you're about to be like it's this. It's like December, so like. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's gonna be busy when I. So get okay, back. so like. I, I mean, there's pardon my ignorance, but Christmas in Australia. Yeah. Is it like a super huge thing like it is here? I mean, yeah, definitely. Know. Christmas in Australia is like probably the top holiday, I think. Okay. The only difference is it's, oh, I guess in Florida it's really hot as well for Christmas, but yes. yeah, same for Australia. We don't have like the white Christmas because it's our summertime. Right, it's your summer, right. So it was like 30 degrees Celsius. Right, so you're Fahrenheit. singing songs about white Christmas, but yet it's it doesn't like make more any like, sense. it's more like white June. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and even then, like, it doesn't really snow that much in Australia. I don't think so. It only snows in, like, a few certain places. Which so, is depressing, because I like the snow. Do you like the snow? I've only seen snow, like, twice, I think. Oh, okay. I've seen it more than you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there you I'm go. I'm Florida born and, and raised. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I've never lived outside of Because it's hot here all the time, right? Just all the time. Sometimes it can get down Sounds to... Um, so... For the folks watching, at Slam and Ladies, um, uh, a few of the wrestlers bring their kids here, and you will always know when something is about to go down when you see me look off camera very and quickly and panic at somebody getting really close to the camera and shaking tables. So I apologize if you see the panic looked on my face or see me look at them and be like, so, anyways, back to the regularly scheduled program. So, uh, Christmas is is a big retail holiday, like, yeah, like here. Yeah, definitely. You guys uh, have. So when I get back to work, it's going to be a very busy time. Now, obviously, you don't have Thanksgiving. No, we do not. Um, oh, oh. Obviously, but you know, we have Black Friday, which is the day after. Do you guys have a day like yeah, a big we, retail day like yeah, that? Yeah, we just call it the Boxing Day sales. Boxing oh. Day sales. But, but is yeah. it Boxing Day like after? The Christmas? day after. Right. So that's when we have our sales. That, so you so you don't have. Oh, any is that sales not when Black Saturday is? No, like uh, Black Friday here oh, is the Friday. day. Uh, Black Friday is the day after Thanksgiving. So that's the uh -huh. day everyone goes and buys their junk for Christmas. To, for Christmas. So you right. guys have no, your sales have after. Yeah, we have a sale after Christmas where everything's like. But get then rid of like. It. Like, that's Why? weird. So, like, you guys, yeah, because my store we open. But you've already day. had Christmas, so exactly. like so you've no, already bought stuff, and no one comes and buys toys on that day because all the kids already have their stuff. Like, I don't know, teenagers and adults will go buy clothes for themselves, pretty much, because it's going to be cheaper that day. And that's like it's not fun. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. The shops are very busy. I don't go because. What is the origin of Boxing Day? Uh, so when Christmas was first born, mm -hmm. um, after. Christmas the next day they will put all their presents in a box right and then they weren't allowed, to, weren't allowed to use it for a week you're not allowed to use your toys for a week no that's why that's boxing day because you have to box up everything what that's not true I made that up okay. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha okay all right is there a rest? But imagine though. It, yeah, I that was like, suck. oh my god why would you do that <laughs> why would you give them the toys and then just take it away <laughs> Oh, you legit got me. <laughs> um, now, what about? I was thinking so hard. Like, what can I say about this? Uh, what about other days? Because you were just here for Halloween and Halloween yeah. Horror Nights. Yeah. You, is Halloween a, a big thing out in? No, but I want it to be. You like, want it's it to slowly be. Slowly getting a little bit bigger, and some people are always like, "That's an American thing. We're Australia. Don't do that." But I'm like, "Do you not want the lollies and the joy and like the yeah. dressing up? Like, like, it's amazing. Halloween it's is starting to be a thing, in, uh, a big thing in Japan." Is so it? Guys, yes. Oh, just follow either. suit. Yes, just follow suit and and especially I love it. Especially Tokyo Disneyland. Because horror movies are my I favorite, like genre of movies. So I absolutely loved like Halloween Horror Night, getting scared and stuff. It was. Great. Yeah, you guys are getting a little bit scared. Yeah. Charlie well, wasn't having it. She, she wasn't. She could after two after yeah. two houses. I went in all of them though, and I yes. stand in the front and once one house and I was like this this is terrifying <laughs> I got scared so, so do you like being scared like you like oh, yeah it? I do I, I like the Adrenaline? Uh, jump scares yeah like it's scary but it's you know it's not real it's so you it's know like, it's hey. not you know they're not gonna touch you yeah or, exactly yeah. Well, that was fun out there I mean the way I equated it to is it's about the same level as getting ready for a match with Madison Eagles right yeah pretty much yeah, yeah you know it's gonna be scary you know but be scary? you know at the end of the day you're gonna walk out of there and you're it's gonna, gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. About the same. 
<laughs> so the thing we like to do on the Milo Beasley show is called the Top Five. Yeah, We're asking a random question. No, no, no. Random question. I'm so undecisive, but that's okay. Well, All right, so you mentioned your love of horror movies. Yeah. So, top five horror slash scary slash Halloween. Top five scary movies. Ooh, that's no cool particular one. order. Okay, so just, just five that yes. I enjoy. Yes. Um, I liked... Have you seen The Birds? That's not... Yeah, it's an old yeah, ha- Alfred Hitchcock movie. That's, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. That freaked me out when I was little. It's not that scary now, I guess, because it's just birds, but I don't know. <laughs> that, I liked The Conjuring. Which is a new one. I found that very scary. I got very scared in the mm-hmm. Some of those movies where, like, it could happen. Like, it could be real. Yeah. Like, that's the scary, like... I like the ones where it's, um, like, the paranormal stuff. Yeah. I don't like the slasher films as much for some reason. I don't yeah. Know, I just don't the paranormal, them. like, stuff. Like, I don't like anything with, like, Ouija boards. No, like, I, like I don't like it. Like, I don't like any references to Ouija boards or anything. So you haven't seen the movie Ouija? No, that. Because that'll probably be that. another no, one no, on I'll my five. That. No, Ouija, okay. the new one. Because I really enjoyed that. Nope. Nope. Uh, what else do I like? I like Wolf Creek. That's actually a slasher one that I enjoy. Oh, I don't think I've... Oh, man, it's an Australian seen... movie as well. Oh. I think it is because it's in Australia, so... Okay. Yeah. About the um, serial killer who kills all the backpackers. That was a real thing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Now he's in jail, so no. it's okay. Okay. Yeah. And I have one left. Yep. I don't know. See, I'm very undecisive. Undecisive? Indecisive? Indecisive. Indecisive. Yes. That's the words. What's your favorite? I like Trick or Treat. Is one of my top five. There was a scare zone on it at Halloween Horror Nights. You gotta watch Trick or Treat. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's not October anymore. You can still watch it. What else do I like? Devil's Rejects. No, I haven't seen that. It's another great one. Sorry. Hmm. I like. Saw. No, I hate Saw. I like the first Saw. Like, I don't like. What's it called? Gore? As much? Right. Like, in the saw where she gets thrown into the pit of needles, that's creepy. Yeah, that's, yeah. Even though I'm not scared of needles, but still, I would not want to be thrown into a pit of them. Like, Correct. that's a fair fear, I think. Yeah. I think that's a very, <laughs> I mean, not that, I don't know how you would, how you're, you, right, like how you would put yourself in that situation. Maybe doctors sometimes, when they like put all yeah. their bad needles through a bin, maybe they'll trip over something and then into the house. That would suck. <laughs> I have one left. Yes. What should it be? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just we'll just put Wolf a pin Creek in it. Two. Wolf Creek Two. Yeah, that's a good one. That's no, that's like horror comedy kind of. It's, okay. Yeah, which I like as well. So Wolf okay. Creek Two, that's a good one. So did, did you, what was your favorite house at Halloween Horror Nights? My favorite house was one I got scared the most in, which was the house one, the Bloom House or something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then I also like the Scarecrow one because that yeah. was scary. I thought the Scarecrow one was yeah. probably the best one there. I think I just got scared in the Bloom House one because I was in the front and I was... I just kept getting scared. Like, everyone was coming out at me. Like, I was in the perfect <laughs> timing to be scared by everything with the music and stuff. And, yeah, so that freaked me out. <laughs> yeah, just a, just yeah. a little. It's a fun house. It's it fun. It's like, you know, so... Uh, I really like the Shining one as well. Yes. Because that was just interesting. It wasn't that, like, scary, but it was cool. Yeah. So anything else before we wrap up? Uh, Just, you know, you're going up to Shimmer, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am doing that. I'm doing Shimmer and Rise. And then I fly home on Monday. Fun. And then I go back to work the next day. And get ready for, I would say, Christmas rush. But yeah. you guys, you said you don't really have that built up. So where can folks find you on the social medias? They can do that on, like, Instagram and Twitter. It's mm-hmm. Jessica Troy Pro. And on Facebook, it's Jessica Troy Wrestler. Of course, you can find me on all the socials at The Wrestling Bum, uh, Facebook, The Milo Beasley Show, and, of course, YouTube, where you can find all previous 181 episodes. All of them. The Milo Beasley Show. Just search it. Uh, 181 episodes. I'm sure there's That's something. That's a lot to watch. I'm sure there's something. That you guys get, like, so we get Christmas. We get, like, a, a lot of employee employers give people like a week off like a christmas break do you guys get that or no um not in retail as much because you have to work on christmas eve and then right. boxing day for the sales and stuff but other jobs do like salary jobs get the week off but you get to go play with all the toys that's true so that's pretty fun right yeah. i get to ride the scooters <laughs> <laughs> is that what you just do so yeah. if we were so if we were to watch you on a normal day you would just be riding scooters yeah around. pretty much unless there's people in the if there's lots of people in the store because um, then i think do you I have scooter know, races gonna... with your other employees no but i should 
You should be like the number one scooter racer in Australia. Oh, I should be. And then you can I'll come. Work on and then you could come here and challenge other scooter racers. I like that idea. I'm gonna practice my scootering <laughs> skills. All right. Thank you very much for watching episode 182 of the Milo Beasley Show. Again, please check out our other 181 episodes. You have a, a week long of stuff binge watch. It's a lot. Um, yeah, just it's just like Netflix except with me. So it's even better. <laughs> even <Yeah>. better. <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching, and we will see you next week. Yay! Bye. Can we zoom in on this? I want you to listen really closely. What you think is not real. Nothing is real. Nothing is what it seems. Okay?